From the 2013 International CES in Las Vegas, this is another Into Tomorrow ITTV special report. Our first guest this hour can get this, get you internet wherever you live. And that's an important thing, especially when you're having trouble getting it or you're stuck with dial-up. Oh, my God, it's 2013. Come on, folks. we got to save you from that. Or DSL is your only option. Oh, it's not your only option. Because if you tried satellite Internet lately, our next guest is Vice President of Marketing for North America for Hughes, Peter Gulla. Peter, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? Hey, good, Dave. It's good to be here again. Glad to have you with us again. Because we talked uh, before we went on the air about maybe folks first experience with satellite many years ago satellite internet might not have been the best for them in some cases because the speeds qu weren't quite there yet uh, the lag time was incredible I mean there's still some lag because we are still going 22,500 miles into space and back again yeah so no matter what you're gonna have a little bit of lag there so uh, first-person shooter games not the best thing for <laughs> for satellite internet but almost everything else is and you guys have increased the speeds dramatically. Tell us about your current offerings from Hughes. Yeah, you know, last time I was here, we had launched a new satellite, and at that time, our speeds were like one meg. Yeah, which was impressive by Very all means. Very impressive. Had not been done before. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was record-breaking, and we had great response and great growth. But now, in October, we launched a new service, and it's 15 times faster. It's 15 megs. And this is serious stuff. I yeah. mean, now all of a sudden, you can do video. You were afraid to do it before. You can do, we're actually demoing uh, the fact that you could listen to the radio, an IP radio, and surf at the same time. And there's enough bandwidth and speed. Yeah. When, you, when you open a page, all the images appear. You don't have to wait. So all the things that the earlier systems had trouble with, and they were great for their time, again, everything moves forward. Sure. We're calling this HughesNet Gen 4. And that's because... We, it's our fourth generation of service, and we, we invented this. We're the, we're the originators of this, and we're going to continue to improve it, and this is our latest. Now, you talk about 15 meg. Is this up and down? It's uh, down. It's down. Well, most okay. people don't send a lot of information That's true. upwards. The average consumer might upload an occasional video or a few pictures for grandma or something like that, but not a lot of bandwidth for uploading. Yeah. Now, of course, we're different because we're uploading videos and interviews and a whole bunch of stuff. But what's the typical upload, just so people understand what we're talking about? The speed is one megabyte per second. Okay. Up. All right. And then, and then we have plans that have 10 down, and we have the fastest service is a 15 down. Oh, okay, good. So they have diff different pricing plans. So different if they don't need that kind of speed, absolutely. we all like it. But yep. come on, you know, sometimes common sense prevails in your wallet. Well, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you price it? Just to give our listeners a general example, let's say, oh, okay, now you're right. I've had dial-up. Yeah. Gotta Got to change it. What's yeah. the basis that they can start with and, and grow from there? Well, right now the service is $59, and, uh, and it's, it, it have an introductory offer of 39 for the first three months. So it really gets you a chance to get in there get, and see what it's like. Sure. Uh, it's amazing speed. It's stuff that you've been waiting for. If you, you, know, you can't go another day. If you have a family and they're trying to do homework, if you have someone who's trying to do Facebook and stay connected with their friends, you cannot do that over a regular dial-up connection, oh, and you certainly can't do it over these very slow, uh, you know, connections that you might have of, of an you know, antiquated DSL kind of circuit. Yeah, if you're far away from the the phone company uh, central you office, know, and and you're barely getting DSL, get rid of it. It's whatever you're spending is not enough. <laughs> our engineers took the technology that they knew and brought it down to earth and found a way to use this ability to reach anywhere. You don't even need a phone line, right? If you, if you can see the satellite, we can send a signal to you, and you can be connected. Gotcha. Now, if folks have cable available, and I'm always saying cable sucks generally, uh, but if they have cable available in their area and they can get high speeds, is this competitive, do you think? Is I, it something that folks would really still look at this? It's really not in or? the speed categories as cable, but it is very competitive with slow DSL. Okay. And, and at 15 megs, you, you just oh. have a comparison. Even people who are trying to do this with wireless. Well, some people have gotten wireless plans, right? Mm -hmm. And what's happening is it's just not delivering. It's, it's just as, in, in fact, it's hard to, to share that in the household. And oh, this makes true. it easy to share with a wireless connection. You can update your phones. You can do iPads. You can do phones. Everything that you need to do, that you would normally do on an internet connection, you can do no matter where you live. And, and Peter, I'm glad you mentioned the wireless, you know, like the mobile hotspots and stuff, because right. that might work well if you're in an area where you've got great coverage. Right, that's where the Where you can see 4G LTE, right. real 4G, not this fake 3.5G stuff. 
uh, that some want to tout. Uh, the point being is that that's great unless you're in that same rural area where you only have DSL. Yeah. Probably you don't have those high-speed Internet right. connections either. And, you know, the, we, we use the word rural, but it's really just live in a less dense area. You live in a place, we say, we let you live where you love and love where you live and still stay connected because you get to have a nice view, you live on a nice piece of property, you get to live not in the center of a city, you, you like the lifestyle you live, all you need to do is have a connection, we make that possible. Gotcha, and of course, HughesNet Gen 4, uh, this didn't pop up out of the woodwork, you mentioned this yeah. is the fourth generation of fine tuning this, and I like how you said earlier, bringing the engineers bringing it down to earth <laughs> because that is what it's all about. Right. And now, does this pretty much cover anywhere in North America, or is it just U.S.? The or? new satellite is designed to reach where 90% of the U.S. population lives. Okay. And we have plans, though, that cover the whole country. Okay, terrific. So there's opportunities that you need to check out. Website is easy, Hughes.com. Actually, HughesNet.com. HughesNet.com. We'll, we'll fix that. So Rob and his team will make that happen. It's HughesNet.com. Correct. Okay, thank you very much. And, of course, we'll link you there to the correct website when you visit us at IntoTomorrow.com. Peter, thanks for spending a few minutes with us and helping us kick off this hour of our coverage from the Showstoppers press event here in Las Vegas. Well, it's great to see you again. Yes, indeed. And, and keep us informed as you continue to do Gen 5 and 6 and other things because clearly. Sure we have plenty more coming. I'm sure. Clearly, you keep tweaking it and making things better and more competitive as you go. Love it. All right. Thank you, sir. We're back with more from Las Vegas and CES Week as Into Tomorrow continues. It's all about innovation and cool products. Stay tuned to Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.